Hey guys, my name is Tanya. I'm Tim. And welcome to Team of Tuesday. And if you don't want to hear us rant, then go ahead and start fast forwarding now because we have a couple of things to talk about. But if you want to just hear us talk about them and gripe, well then hang out because that's what's going to happen here at first. I actually have a gripe and Tim has a gripe. So both of which are Timu related. Yeah. Um, so you know this channel's not sponsored. It never has been sponsored. Been doing Timu hauls for almost two years now, or maybe it's over two years. I don't know. It's been so long. We've been doing them since they first got popular, let's yeah. say. Um, so never had a sponsored video though they have emailed me multiple times and i usually just ignore them now if you remember about three videos ago or so i had said that ian from timu was trying to get me to to uh alter one of my timu videos uh because we had gotten a product that i said do not recommend this product and i was serious about it because it zapped me that's that neck uh, that was that neck massager yeah. that they ended up discontinuing okay yeah. so the guy from one of the reps from timu uh got my email apparently from my description box down there and emailed me trying to get me to uh alter that video i said no i'm not gonna alter that video uh but then had followed up that email with uh them wanting to sponsor a video and give me $200 in credit, right? So we spoke about that to y'all, about whether or not we should do this $200 credit with Timu. Now, Timu lied to me because uh, I had went and after everybody in the comments was like, you should do it, you should do it, it's free money. You've been doing it this whole time with your own money, which is true. Mm -hmm. Everything that we've ever bought, we bought because we wanted it. Right. Right. It's not like we buy it just to show y'all and then it ends up in landfill somewhere. We buy it because it's something that we want or that we're going to use or our family is going to use. We buy presents, all that jazz. Yeah. So I emailed him back and said, after we got back the comments and said, okay, we'll do that. So then he sent me this link. So I clicked, I clicked the link, went and signed up under their uh, influencer program thing or whatever. Then I started getting emails from somebody else, not him, a different rep. And she tells me, okay, we gave you $40. Okay, well, that, there's no. lie one. <laughs> and I was like, no, uh, $40 was not the agreed upon deal. You can keep your $40. Uh, then they email back. She emailed back and she was like, well, we'll just have to see how your videos do, yada, yada, yada. Uh, we can raise it to 150 And Timu, if you're watching, you can go back and read your own emails to me because everything I'm saying is true. Obviously, you're watching her. I wouldn't have got uh, an right. email from before. So they emailed me back and uh, she was like, well, we'll just have to see. We can raise your, they call it a seating balance. We can raise your seating balance to 150, but we'll have to wait and see how your videos do. Okay, well, you can go back and look at, I've done a video every single week for the past two years. We don't need to wait and see how a video does. No. You can already, you have plenty of past videos to see how the videos do. So, yeah. So needless to say, I emailed back and said, no, thank you. I do not like to be lied to. And this is not, obviously this is not something for me. Uh, and then I received another email back today um, saying that they apologize about, uh, I must be, I must have a misunderstanding or whatever it is. Don't email me again. Just don't. Uh, I'm not going to keep going back and forth. I don't do that. I get emails every single day from other companies wanting us to promote their products on a video. I think I've done it maybe once. And I, when I tell you we get emails like every day, it's I, I probably get one every day, every other day, sometimes two to three a day. 
I'm not going to promote products that I don't believe in, period. This channel is basically about saving money. Yeah. We like to show what we save money on, going thrifting, going on our trips, what you guys can save money on. That's what it's about. I'm not promoting a product just because somebody wants to give me something for free, and I'm not going to act like it's all great and wonderful if I don't think it is. Nope. So there's that. There's that rant. So guess what? No sponsored videos are coming because I'm not going to keep going back and forth with them. Yep. So I don't, I don't like to be lied to. Just know if, it's, if you're a new channel and you're watching these videos and Timu hauls or any kind of hauls or, or something that you want to get into, just be very careful and very mindful of the emails that you get and make sure they stand behind what they're saying. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm saying it's not for us. I'm not saying other people that do it, it's not fine for them because there's a lot of Timu haulers out there that take the money. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of them and they are sponsored videos rarely do they even uh say it but it's okay everybody knows whatever you do what you want to do with your channels and we do what we want right. to do with our channel so uh i just want people to be aware that if it's something that you want to get into that's great just be careful with uh the email chains and know who you're talking to maybe try to talk to the same person don't let them let somebody else come in I feel like that's what happened here and I'm just not, I don't really have time to just mess with that and we're going to buy stuff from Timu anyway and then we'll show it to you, let you know whether we like it or not, whether it's a bunch of crap or it's fantastic. That's it. Okay, my rant's over so now it's Tim's turn and he's got a rant about credits with Timu. <laughs> yeah, um, I try, at, as you heard me talk about in a few videos and stuff, I always save my credits or um i guess that's what they call it, straight up credits yeah they're credits yeah. whenever you return stuff you yeah. just take credits so yeah. I, I always build mine up and then i use it through out. yeah <laughs> that or i'll break it down in different groups just to get my bill down because i bought too much stuff and i want to, i don't want to spend too much yeah because we don't do sponsorships <laughs> yes <laughs> so they keep giving me these things say you know Spend credits, you can get $7, $10, whatever you spend, you get so much back. Are you talking about spinning that wheel thing? No, this is actually, um, they'll give you um, purchase from this group of stuff. Oh. And your credits, and then they'll Use give you. Use your credits for, yeah, right. they're only giving you like a list of stuff. Yes. Okay, okay, I get it. So, but what's so funny though is half the stuff that's, I'm going to say more than half the stuff, is stuff that I've looked at. Oh, yeah. So they've added, you know, put it in the list. So they know, yeah, they, they know what you like. They know how to push the buttons. <laughs> they know what you like. <laughs> so I said, okay, let's see how this works. You know, I'll spend some, get some back. It might not be that, you know, much at all. But uh -huh. So I did it. And okay. I spent $30 on my credits and I bought three items, which is something I was debating about anyway. You yeah. Know, so and it says I got $7 in credits back. So you were like supposed to spend it, get it back, spend That's, your credits and get back the same amount? Well, kind of. I spent mine and it said I got I was going to get $7 in credits back. So take that. Okay, spent, yeah. okay, okay. I get it. So you just kind of like have like a little refund type thing coming back to yeah. you, you know, right then and there. So basically like, like, like a so price adjustment right then and there. Like basically. you're spending 23 instead yes, of 30. Exactly. Okay, I get it. For so future purchases. Just okay. to see how it worked and everything. It, take, it takes me a minute. <laughs> But it's kind of like, you know, I, it pops up all the time. So I said, I'll give it a shot just to see. You know, because I had like $70 in credits on my thing anyway. You know? uh -huh. So I did it. Spent $30. Says, you get $7 back. So I clicked on the little pop-up thing. Mm -hmm. But it's not $7 at one time. I got a dollar this one day on these group of items. A <laughs> dollar on another group of items. <laughs> It broke it down to where it's like, I'm like, nope, that's not how it was portrayed to me to be in. It, it was, was it was the fine print. Yes, he's letting you know the fine print. Yes. <laughs> so just like with emails, if you want to do the sponsorship thing, make sure you understand the fine print. <laughs> yeah, for real. You know, so I mean, need to say I got some items coming that I was planning on using anyway, but I just didn't want to buy them at the time. But I yeah. ended up buying them then. So. <laughs> It, yeah, I've never, I don't think I've gotten that. I mean, he was kind of kind of explaining it to me before. And I'm like, mm, I don't know what you're talking about. 
And I think they send different promotions to different people. I don't know. But, like, some of the stuff that he gets, I don't get. And some of the, um, like, little games or whatever you want to call them. When yeah. you open your app, some some of those I get and he doesn't get. And I know if you don't have the app even, I don't even know that you get any of these things. I think if you just purchase off of the Timu site and you don't get the app, I don't... I'm not sure that you get any of those things. You have to let me know. I've been on the I've e- never purchased off of the website before. No. I've only purchased off the app. I've been on the website before, but never. I have too, but I've never yeah. purchased no. anything. Uh-uh. So I don't even know if you get, do you guys get those deals too? If that's the only way you purchase? I don't know. So <laughs> yes. I really don't know. I do like all of the new local warehouse stuff though. If you all have checked that out. I do too, but the only problem is though, is that some of it is pricier. Some of it is, but um, I did notice the other day. So if y'all are looking for those uh, zero gravity chairs, you know what I'm talking mm-hmm. about, where you you sit in it and it like leans back or whatever. Usually those suckers are like fifty bucks a piece. Yeah, is what they normally run. You can actually get from a local warehouse, and I think it's still the same the same price. You can get a two pack of those for fifty four dollars free ship. So, if you're looking for zero gravity chairs, I do know they have that deal out there. And it's a pretty good deal, I think. We don't need any, but if I did, I probably would have bought them because that's like two for one. Oh, yeah. Because they're almost always 50 bucks a piece or right in that vicinity. So. And I do know that um, <laughs> some of them charge shipping from the local warehouse. That one was, it was free, though, because I yeah. looked to make sure. And I mean, the ship is only like $2, you know. Five dollars, something like that. Yeah, it's usually so, not mean, that bad. If you're paying, you know, nineteen dollars or something, and it's two dollars shipping, I mean, it's when you get it a week earlier. Yeah. I mean, it kind of works out. Yeah. You know, so. Okay, you think we should get into our haul finally? <laughs> Are we done complaining? I don't know. Y'all may not want to hear us complain, but I want y'all to know everything I know. So that's how this that's how this channel works. If I know mm-hmm. it, you're gonna know it. So. Yeah. Well, say somebody make a mistake like I do. It's been on my credits and I probably didn't need to. Yeah. <laughs> or think about getting a sponsorship yep. and then you're like, Argh. I don't think so. Yep. I'm going to start. I've already bought these before. We actually currently have them on our pillows now. And I've washed them, dried them more than one time. Mm-hmm. They're holding up great. These are called those cooling pillowcases. I've shown them before, but it's been a while. Uh, it's viscose, they're viscose made from bamboo, it says. I don't know how you can do that, but okay. Uh, these are only $2.97 for a pair. And I'm going to open them up. You, they do have different sizes. You can get standard queen or king. I believe I just ordered the queen. And if I'm not mistaken, I think these do have the flap. I don't want to lie about it. Yeah. Do they? Yeah, so these have the flap too. So when uh, when you put your pillow in there, it actually has the fold over. I know I knew the ones did on our bed already, and I knew I ordered from the same company, but I just wanted to make sure. So this has the flap where it actually goes over the pillow so that you don't see your pillow underneath the case. It actually keeps the case on there, and that's what it says. 100% viscose from bamboo. These things are so soft. I love them. They're just slick, but they're not slick like satin. Right. You don't get sweaty and yucky and all that. It's just a really nice feel, and they've held up well in the wash machine. So for $3, I don't even think you can get a pair of the generic jersey ones from Walmart for 3 bucks. I think it's like 5 So this is a great deal. To me and I'll be buying more and the reason I keep buying blue it's not because it matches our bedroom necessarily <laughs> it's because blue is the cheapest color <laughs> just yeah, like we don't, we don't buy the buy the, the match I don't buy matchy matchy stuff uh necessarily like I don't have like um I don't know if, is that even still a thing where you like match the curtains and the in the bedding, in the, all that, in the blanket. I, is that still a thing? I don't know. I haven't done it in so long. I knew it was a thing way back when, but you know how stuff goes out and comes back, goes on, comes back. I'm not sure if that's still a thing or not. I like bell bottoms. It went out, came back. Hey, I, I'm a, I'm a fan. I've always liked bell bottoms. All right, so I bought me a shirt. I paid 1087 for this one, but I actually got 
four price adjustments I told you. Wow. And for a total of five ten, so technically I only paid five dollars <laughs> for this shirt. Oh, there you go. But it's one of these. So you got a uh, half price, basically. Yeah. So it's one of these. Um, I don't know what that was. <laughs> it's a short sleeve. I've never had one before. I said I'll be just trying it, but it's one of those short oh, sleeve hoodies. Yeah. Type shirt. This one doesn't. Yeah, this one doesn't have the pockets. They do make them with the pockets too. And those everything. kangaroo pockets. You know, yeah. but I said let me try it, see how I like it or not. Mm -hmm. I, Did you try it on yet? I had tried it on. And it fits just like all my other three X shirts. And it stuff. does. Yeah. What's the neck like though? Is it tight in the neck or no? No, this one's actually pretty loose. Oh, okay. In the neck, I always so. wondered about that with the strings with the hood, like yeah. how tight the neck no, would I mean, be. You see how big the yep. neck itself is and everything. That's why so, I asked if you yeah. tried it on because I wasn't sure how that would be. Yeah, because I was thinking was actually worried too and stuff and actually that's one of the things I use one of some of my other credits for to purchase just that one item just to see yeah so but yeah I mean it's comfortable it's um it has a little bit of ply to it stretch mm -hmm. to it so but yeah definitely I'll buy another one if I if the price comes back down again some but yeah Right now, I think they're sending like a fifteen dollars for them and everything for the summertime and people's all mm -hmm. buying them for the gym and of all course. that stuff and everything. Probably goes by color too. Yes, it does. <laughs> um, they had some weird colors on there that was cheaper. Like that's not me. You said no. <laughs> so when we went on vacation, for those of you that watched our vacation video, uh, when we were sitting on the beach. You know how when you sit in your, for those of you that go to the beach, when you're sitting on your beach chair and you have your towel draped over your chair and you're sitting on it and the back of your towel falls all the time and it gets on your last nerve. So I'm sitting there and this is happening and I'm looking around and I notice all these people have these little clips on the back of their chairs that are holding their dang towel on there. So what do I do? Immediately I get on Timu while I'm at the beach and I ordered some. So that's what these are. I paid 88 cents for these and I did get a price adjustment for 31 cents. So I basically paid 50 cents and I got four. And we'll give Tim the green and the blue ones for his towel. And I'll take the pink and the yellow for my towel. And so they just clip, see how wide they open? And I mean, you can you can use them for other stuff yeah. too, but I bet this is what I got mine for. It's just to clip on and hold my dang towel on there so it doesn't go flying off. So yeah. these are going in the beach bag. Yeah. You have to shit that uh, clip too. You don't think well, they're too big. <laughs> too big for a chip you, clip bag. You buy the family size then. <laughs> From Sam's. This is, is a cost, this is a Costco clip. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> probably four videos ago, I bought some of the Timu uh, paint pouch, uh, patches. Yeah. They didn't work for you. It did not work for me. But it worked for me. So it hurt, her skin her skin rejected it, I guess. It I did know. not like it. So, but I had I already had these ordered and stuff too. These are actually supposed to be like the, um, maybe I didn't even get other uh, scissors again. Oh, there we go. Look, I, I, am, I got, uh, he hit me yesterday. I didn't hit you, the pole hit you. He was <laughs> guiding the pole. I don't even know how this happened. He was supposed to just be mowing the yard yesterday. And then somehow it's, hey, if I cut down all these tree limbs, you want to help me? Okay. So I decided to help him. Well, then y'all don't know this about Tim, but he likes to do acrobatics on ladders. And that's like a big no-no. So he takes way too many chances on a ladder. If you know somebody like that, then you know what I'm talking about. So I notice he's about ready to do some acrobatics on this ladder and he's got the big pole cutter thing and he's, he's got it up there and he's like yanking on it and it's stuck. He can't get it. Tanya is <laughs> holding the ladder because it's kind of rickety and I see it wobbling and I'm thinking, dear God, he's going to fall. So I'm trying to be helpful right while he's jerking on this thing not paying any attention to his ladder or who's underneath me <laughs> yeah and he has the long pole thing you know if you know what i'm talking about it has a long pole and it's got the cutter on top and you pull the string right well the pole is pretty long i'm standing there he starts whipping this pole well he whips it around brings it back around and smacks me <laughs> directly right here 
right here. He's like, there's no bruise there. He's laughing, hardcore laughing on the I ladder. You're all right. He's like, are you all right? Ha 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 ha. Oh, are you okay? Ha ha ha. I learned from the best. I just want you to know. So I'm a little, um, I'm a little leery of him today because of yesterday's incident. Now y'all know what he's really like. Y'all think Tim's the, the good person in this marriage. Yeah, still am. <laughs> because I asked if she was all right, she would have done it to afterwards. <laughs> But anyway, back to page 381 for these. <laughs> these are the ones that's supposed to go, they say, down around your knee. Or even your shoulder, you know, it's supposed to go around. It's up, it's up higher. Wait, Forget it, I don't need it. But these actually smell. You can actually smell the... Uh, Let me see it. Well, I didn't need the whole thing. Oh, man. You yeah. should have warned me. It smelled like... It's super it's like, it minty. It smelled like... Um, Very minty. Um, not bio. Um, ben Gay. There's another one I'm trying to think. Deep heat, no. There's another one I'm trying to think of. That's how strong this is. It's very, very yeah. minty. But there's actually 50 in here for three dollars and eighty-seven cents. I'm not using them. They didn't like my skin. No, but I've actually used the um, other ones about four or five times, and they've actually worked pretty good for it. Yeah. Especially the um, outer, the like the trap area and stuff like that. I don't have any traps. Um, it's a trap. Okay, so I got a hair clip, and I look. This, I bought this the same day, clip. the same day I bought these because a lady had a hair clip in her hair, and I thought that is so dang cute. Oh wait, does Timu have one? <laughs> and they did. I paid fifty three. Do you guys do that? I paid fifty three cents for this. I can't be the only one that sees something and is like, hmm. I wonder if Timu has that, and immediately gets on there. And half of the time they do. Sure so. did. I don't think I bought anything though because they no. didn't have what I was looking no. for. Uh, I paid fifty three cents for this. Okay. It's got a pretty good claw to it, but it's a little bow. Isn't that cute? And it's a hair clip. And it's gold. And I think they had other colors too, but I wanted gold because my hair is like kind of golden. So yeah, isn't it cute? Look I like it. <laughs> wow. You're in your, you're more in your golden years than I am. Yeah, I feel like it every day too. I know I read oh. the price of this thing somewhere. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Ninety-seven cents I paid for this, and I got it mainly for um, the tablets and the phones when mm -hmm. you're out about. It's actually one of those little spray bottles. You actually put your cleaning fluid in here, spray through it. But this is actually a felt thing, so you can actually wipe it across your screen to wipe it off. That's interesting. Of course you would buy something like that for the electronics. Yeah. That's, bought, that's so you. I've actually bought two of them. Only one came so far. So one's going to be downstairs and one's going to be upstairs. So. <laughs> I'm completely not surprised by any of what you just said. Um, I paid a dollar for this and it's just uh, this lip gloss stuff, which I like from Timu. And I just bought a different color is all I bought. This one looks much pinker than I would think that I would use. We have use. birds in the house. We don't have no birds in the house. <laughs> Do you hear outside? Mm. Doesn't taste like anything. I don't know. I'm scared to put too much on because it's like really pink looking. You, you guys see that? See how pink it is? Woo. I don't know. I don't know yet. I'll have to see. I barely put any on because I was scared. Right. You can't really tell. Okay, good. No. <laughs> All right. I actually bought some more of these. I got some uh, the micro SD cards. They had them for $1.78. He loves these, y'all. He buys um, these kind of things all and, the time. He says and it's they actually work. certain, um, I say brands, but whatever. The, the, the ones that's got the red um, casing. Okay. The red and gray ones. Because even the reviews are all great about this style and all the other ones, people say they don't last long. Um, it they gets they might not work at all. Yeah. Something like that. So, but this style here, I have I thought, what, three other ones? I was going to say you bought them multiple yeah. times. And I get them for the Switch because just to keep putting more stuff on and it saves your games, you know, everything like that on them and stuff like that. So 
I got two of them. Both of these are five hundred and twelve for a dollar seventy eight. That's super you cheap. Got, you I mean, can't beat the price of those. Uh, I've just bought a couple of bands. I paid eighty nine cents a piece for these, and I got a twenty cent price adjustment on each one. So one's gold, one's silver, and I just got them to wear with uh, like extra you know with other rings too so just to make the ring fatter or whiter so i know y'all know what i'm talking about so yeah and they're i mean they're pretty good quality they don't feel terrible i don't know how long they'll last but for 89 cents or 69 cents i don't i'm not that sad if they only last a couple months right <laughs> i paid 330 oh, sorry 352 for this and it's just basically a charger um, and a charger with a USB-C that has the USB lightning from my style phone on there. But you can actually use yours too for the USB-C to USB-C. So, and it's got the heavy duty cable. Um, I was actually running low on the USB-C block blocks themselves or cubes. Um, most <laughs> of them are always... You Where do they all go? Where, where does everybody's cubes go? It, it's like socks. <laughs> just come up missing all of a sudden. Like, what but, the world? But most of the ones I always have now is the USB um, A's to the lightning, and they just don't charge as fast. Or I'm just bulk, like, so. where does this stuff go? Yeah, they just come up missing like crazy. It's wild. Yep. I got Poppy a toy. Uh, I paid $1.98 for this, and I got a 25 cent price adjustment. A little dog bone it probably has a squeaker can't remember okay <laughs> so, so plastic. what the world okay there we go there we go oh it's soft too like a well, penny will like that penny will like this oh it does have Yep, here and he here he comes. What's that? Is that is Penny gonna come too? I see Tobias is over in his bed. Here you go. His um, ears are pretty up. Here comes Penny. Oh, Poppy got it. Go get it, girl. Go get it from him. Go get it, Penner. Give me that. Give me that toy, Poppy. Give me that. Get it here. You like it? He still likes both of them. His ball's still doing good too. It's still holding up. He hasn't put a hole in it. Say hi, buddy. Say hi. Say hi, guys. Oh, got a scratch. <laughs> All right, I paid a dollar sixty-one for this, and it's actually a sticker. Uh -oh. Right here. Just uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this one says. Um, Death Star tech support. <laughs> <laughs> so I got it from one of my laptops. One I bet you did. <laughs> so, yeah, I couldn't turn it down. I saw that. I'm like, uh, went straight into my cart immediately. Of course, you know, and actually, anything with tech support yeah. and Star Wars that goes together. Yeah, it kind of like I think finished off one of my orders just right then and there. He said, oh, I'll minute. take that. Yep. <laughs> I think that put me over my fifteen dollar minimum that I needed. Oh, so yeah. Yeah, well, I'm just super thankful it's still a $15 minimum. Some people in the comments say that they have like a $20, a $30, a $40 minimum. I know some people that live in like Canada and uh, other places like that, their minimum is super high. Mm. I would hate that. Yeah. I really would hate that. I got this for my Durango, the truck that I drive every single day. Uh... We always say we're going to get a new vehicle, and then I say, no, I'm not, because the prices of new vehicles are absolutely ridiculous to me. I cannot imagine paying fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 for a brand new vehicle. I just, I just can't force myself to do it. So I feel like if we're going to do something like that, then I'm just going to buy another rental property and make yeah. money off of it instead of lose money with it, but that's just my way of thinking. 
So the Durango, because what year is the Durango? 2012? I think 2012. 2012. Yeah. We've, had this, we've had it for probably six, seven years. Yeah. Seven years, probably. <laughs> Paid off years and years ago. The It's all leather, but like the armrest, where everybody puts their arms, is starting to get like little bitty cracks in it. So I got this, and it's the same color as the interior, and it should fit right there, hide the cracks, and has little grippies on it, it looks like, so hopefully it won't go flying everywhere. Oh, oh. Sense, so yeah, sense. so it'll go up underneath. Yeah. Hopefully it'll work that way. It should. We'll have to wait and see. I think it'll, I yeah. think it'll work, but it, it has little pockets on each side, too, for your phone. Or pens or whatever else you right. want to put in there. So yeah, I'll install this for you guys too. Does that have a smell to it? It does. It smells like that uh, like plastic pool. leather. Yeah. It smells like a pool. That's exactly what it <laughs> smells what I, like. But I, I, I am I smelling a pool here? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it smells like. So I'll install this and let you all see it. Okay, see what I mean? Starting to get that little cracking stuff going on. So this looks pretty close to the same color. Let's see if we can make it look better. Yeah. We'll see if we can get it to hook on. All right, my opening is pretty wide. So I did get the strap down there. So this is what it looks like. And you can see the tension on the back. But I'm just not going to put the front one on there. I don't think it needs it, obviously, because it's this tight already. So, yeah, what do you think? I mean, I think it looks pretty good. It's pretty close. And it'll help, you know, this won't get worse by getting sun damage and stuff like that to it by being covered up. So, I mean, it feels nice. It's nice and quilted. It's pretty thick, as you can see. So, yeah, I think this is going to work pretty well. And there's still plenty of room. I mean, there's, you could put a phone or whatever else you want in there. Honestly, it's quite a bit of room left. All right, so uh, on my team, we've been seeing these quite a bit and everything. I've never <laughs> seen it on mine. But uh, I used to sleep with the earbuds in, just listen to music while I'm falling asleep, or maybe even a movie or a podcast, whatever, and stuff mm -hmm. at a time. But I always hated the way the earbuds, they always hurt. And you always put them on the opposite ear than what you're laying on type thing. So they actually had um, earbuds that are designed for sleep. So I said, I'll give it a shot. I paid $8.78 for them and got a price adjustment, um, actually two of them for $3.42 uh, wow. combined. So nice. paid $5 for it. Um, and it's funny because they, they call them uh, mini and an invisible um, compact style, mm -hmm. which they come in what looks like a little compact. It looks like a women's compact, <laughs> yep. like they would have powder and mirrors on Right. Them. But they do... It's very tiny. Easy to put in your pocket. Yeah. So throw it in your pocket, throw it in your backpack, thing sticks to my finger. Yeah. Um, but they're very... Wow, those are thin. Very thin. Um, I actually did put it in already and, and see how they fit. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know if you can see it like this or not, but very smooth. Yeah, you it's like feel fits push inside on the it. ear, yeah. But the quality, it sounds real good Does it? Um, on it. And I'll just listen to this simple music, you know, type thing. Of course, they're not going to be, um, they don't have. The, Tim likes to listen to piano music, just saying. Or any classical music, really and truly. <laughs> But it does have the charger showing on the thing there. Um, it shows which earbuds are charging. It shows the left and the right. We'll do a close-up on this, too. Oh, yeah. Thing. Um, but they do not have the mics. Of course, these are just strictly earbuds only, so you don't can't talk with them. No. But they do have some other ones on there that if you're looking for something that fine um, or small, where you can actually still talk and... Um, listen to music, whatever, instead of not have the big bulky earbuds, you know, sticking out, which a lot of people do not like yeah. on there and stuff. So, but yeah, for five bucks, we'll definitely give it a shot tonight, see how it works out. And yeah. Go from there. He actually put them in earlier and turned the music on because they're supposed to be sleep ones. And obviously, you're not going to want your partner to be able to hear them as well when it's just for you. I couldn't hear anything. 
So. And I had the, pretty much I had it turn up about three quarters of the way for yeah. volume. So. And I, I was like <laughs> up on him and I couldn't hear anything. So just, just know that. We forgot to tell you that it does come with these extra ear pieces. So for smaller ears or whatever, you can change out the little bumper things. But the case will show you like how much charge is left on the earbuds. And you can see that they're pretty small, actually. And the case itself is really compact. It is not large at all. We have, um, if you all have seen us do videos in the kitchen, then you've probably seen our <laughs> stove before. Because <laughs> we're, we're always doing a video in the kitchen. So our stove is a glass top electric stove. When you live in the South, very few places down here on the coast have gas. <laughs> and I'm sure you can guess why because of hurricanes and everything else. So most everybody down here has electric everything. Ours is one of those glass cooktops. So I don't have a ton of counter space. I don't have some expensive elaborate kitchen. So I need all the counter space I can get. And I hate putting stuff on top of the, the um, stove because it clinks you know i'm always afraid i'm gonna crack it or do something because i'm just not that nice to stuff i'm always afraid of it coming on and heating something so i paid three dollars and 68 cents for this it's in here tight yeah. I packed it in here so i got this to put over top of the stove whenever um i'm like prepping or like when I bring in stuff from the grill and all that crap, mm -hmm. we're always looking for extra counter space. So I bought one of these mats to go on, and it's the exact fit because I actually measured before I purchased it. So it's the exact fit of the top of the stove. So it's not heavy duty. Oh yeah. And of course this is a side that goes up on there. No, it's this, I think it's this side that you can go, you, I think you can use it either way. Because they also say that you can use this as a drying mat. See, that's the first thing I thought about when I saw it. Is, is, oh, you thought it was a drying mat? Yeah. yeah, so you can use it. I'm, a, I'm guessing either way. So if you use it this way, you can probably use it for a drying mat if you just hand wash dishes or whatever real fast. Or if you don't want something to clink on your dang... <laughs> if you don't want it to clink on top of your electric stove, then you can use it this way. Yeah. And it folds up. So you don't have to leave it out all no. the time if you don't want to. It folds up. I'll probably roll it up, but yeah. Yeah. I've actually been looking, just like they have them for the coffee pot area they too. They do have them you for know, that too, yeah. Stuff like four that. bucks though? Totally worth oh, it for yeah, this size? Right. For four bucks? Heck yeah. Easy wipe off too if you get anything on it. Heck yeah. On it. That's what I'm saying. Going to these. So, if you saw, gosh, it's been probably a month ago or so. Yeah, it's been remember. a while. I bought a drone um, to play around with. Um, it's a smaller one. This one here is actually a different style. So, I kind of pretty much went to the top two different styles. Because mm -hmm. I've never had a drone before. I've always been intrigued. Yeah, we're not like drone pros. No. And I'm still FYI. not, I'm, I'm not even past the <laughs> beginner's level yet, you know, so I'm still in the same thing. But this Baby one here, steps. right. Um, and, and this one says 14 plus, so, you know, I'm right around that, you know. <laughs> He's at the 14 year old stage right now. Yeah, so, and that way if it breaks, I'm not, I'm not sweating it. But I paid 14.74 for this, and what I tell you? Like 30, 30, 31 or 34 dollars. Yeah, right, I actually got a two cent price adjustment on this one here. But this is actually the little bit uh, bigger um, style. Than the last um, one you got. Right, yeah. and it's got the double camera going on. Um, but this one already, this I haven't actually used it yet. I'm gonna <laughs> try to get it on the video, so. You're gonna yeah. have to. Um, Cause you know we have to demonstrate everything, yep. so he knows he's gonna have to play with it. <laughs> this one does have the double blades for each uh, prop. Um, the nice big heavy duty stand. That is a nice stand. Right. So the other one didn't a, have that, did it? No. I didn't think so. Um, it's got the camera on the top. This is supposed to be like your collision camera, which the other one did. The collision camera did not work. I've tested it numerous times. Yeah, it ran into me. 
<laughs> ran into us. It somehow another came into the it house. It came in the house on its own. We don't know how. <laughs> but this one's got uh, the three. Actually, it's got the uh, four position camera that's supposed to pick up things and stuff too on there. Um, you like this remote better than the other one? You I did made? like the remote too on this one better because the other one took the double A batteries. Mm -hmm. But this one's actually a rechargeable ah. style remote. And it's actually bigger for my hand too. So I can actually hold it. Yeah. The other one was just very compact. Just like this. Yeah. Without you the know, bottom part. Right. You know, so. No stability to hold there, it. There. Yeah. And the speed control, it actually labels out the speed, you know, on the top here. Um, you mean it's low speed? All the time. <laughs> Especially with the wind, because these oh, things do... Oh, yeah, it's super windy, yeah. too, so we'll see how this works out. Yeah, this thing takes off when it's windy outside. It's so been windy for a couple of days we're now. We're going to stay probably about the three-foot um, height. Yeah. You know, so we'll see how... It's it, been really windy. It's been very windy. So, like I said, this one, to me, um, and it actually was a little bit cheaper than what the other one was, but it just seemed like a little bit more dur uh, durable. Mm -hmm. And... And he said he got this for 15 bucks and now it's 30 something. But that means that it will probably go down again. Right. If it's like ever been that price before, sometimes if you just keep it in your cart and keep watching, the prices will, I mean, they fluctuate day by day on some of this stuff. So I like the case is much nicer for this one this, than the last one too. My next thing I was going to say is the case is a lot more durable. A lot uh, nicer. Nice, softer. So, because I think I... You ended up getting one of my cases, right, yeah. Out there and stuff, so. For the other one. It zips up, you know, really nice yeah. all the way around. You know, throw it in a bag and yeah. take it to a big open field that it's not nothing you can get. <laughs> okay, it is super, super windy today. I don't know if y'all can tell, but you can probably hear the chimes back here in the back. But uh, the wind keeps trying to take it off, but. You like this one better than the I other one? I like this one better. The controls seem a little bit better. Ah! It, see, it's already the wind's trying to The wind's it. trying to get it. Yeah. So I'm trying to keep it low, but I'm fighting with that. Uh oh, uh oh. Just don't let it go over the fence. Nope. Let it go right there. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a lot lighter weight. You like that controller better, though? Yes, the controller is so much easier for me to use, too. I like the is way it, it fit. Even though it's so, I mean, when it comes to. I mean, of course, just getting the blood of my finger. Oh, <laughs> yeah, look, he got himself with the blade, so be yeah. careful. Even though they're plastic, they will Still you. get you. Um, I mean, your higher dollar drones, of course, uh -huh. are going to have a more substantial remote. Yeah. Remote. So, I mean, these are pretty cheap looking. <laughs> but for what we're doing with them, what I, I know, do with them. For just playing. You know, I... I got it more for the camera just to mess around with that yeah. stuff too, but I haven't mastered it enough to oh. be able to trust have my phone and watch it from there. I can actually literally watch. You got to play for a while first. Exactly. So. You better go get your wrecked yeah. drone over there. <laughs> What's it got? It's actually got lights in the bottom, so when it's flashing, it That's means it's still cool. trying to sync up. Yeah. And once it goes solid, that means it's synced with your remote too. Did the other one have that? No. Oh. Sure didn't. That's wild. So, and this one was the cheaper one initially, right? Yes. That's wild. Exactly. So, and I've crashed a few times and <laughs> it's still, I've only had to do one minor adjustment. They actually popped uh, apart right here, but it snapped right back together. Okay. Easy. <laughs> it's back so, to normal. Yep. Exactly. Okay. Okay. This is day two with no wind. So Tim said it's a lot easier to control when there's no wind. As you can tell, he can pretty much keep it in right around the same spot. So he said he would definitely recommend this drone probably even more than the other one that he got. He hasn't been able to um, mess with the camera on it yet just because he has to master flying it first. But as far as durability, this one probably wins. <laughs> I got this for my son. Um, we all eat a lot of eggs. We like eggs. I actually did a video the other day because I was refilling our egg one that we have. And I was like, I need to do a video because I just love refilling it. I know it's weird. <laughs> and so I did like a little short video on it and put it on Facebook and stuff the other day. But uh, I got this one for Curtis and his. This one is bigger than the one that we have because he buys like the 30 some yeah. pack eggs. 
and we only buy the 18 pack because he eats them way more than we do. I paid a five twenty seven for this. Uh, n I don't think it's broken. I think it's just not all together. Oh. I paid five twenty seven for it, but I got four price adjustments on this sucker. And I just got another one like today, I think. And so it took off so far it's taken off a dollar ninety four out of my five twenty seven that I bought. And I they have all different kinds of these, but I like this one because it saves the most space in your refrigerator. I know some people were making comments on my video like, why not just leave them in the carton? Because I don't want to. I don't want to. I want to put it in my little container. No, that is is it broken? Yes, yeah, it's good. <gasps> oh, it did get broken. Dang it. I wonder if we can still use it. Let me see. Once you get that 15 layers. I body. know. If I can get it out. It is because it's it yeah. bent the plastic right there yeah. even. It stressed it. That's a stress fracture. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <Leave a> nail. <laughs> That's why they shouldn't keep using poly bags, huh? You guys agree? They shouldn't be using these bags for bigger stuff. Dang it. Well, crud puppies. Actually, it's completely broken because the tip's gone. Yeah, I know. The, so. Uh, so it broke because they squished it. See how it's bent, unfortunately. But if it wasn't broken, it would be cool. So yeah, I got him. This is just like ours, except for ours is only like two tier. Because it only holds half of what his was supposed to hold. So I'm going to have to either send it back or whatever they want to do about it. But it's it's definitely broken right there in the yep. front. Sadly. But these things are great. I'm just saying. I yeah. love these. I'm going to get back on. I saw this one. And so I ordered it. But I'm actually going to go back onto my old uh, purchases and see if the exact same one that I bought, if they still have that one. I, I mean, in the bigger right. section. And I'm going to buy from them because it's mine that I have seems better quality than this one. And I think yours came in a box too, didn't it? I think mine did come in a box. Yeah. So Cause we bought my parents' one and it came in a box. Yeah. So I will put this one, obviously, down in the description like I always do. And I'll put next to it that I don't recommend this one so that you can click on it. And it'll take you to Timu and you can see which one's not to buy. This is definitely, I wouldn't recommend this one. Definitely not. What Tim's about to show you though, is one of my most favorite things I think I've ever seen off of Timu, to be honest. I told you guys in my last, in the jewelry haul that I did last week without Tim because he left me and went up to North Dakota, uh, that he had something super cool and this is it. It's so cool, I love it. Yep. And I actually got this from my dad for um, Father's Day. I paid 17 for this. But 17 buckaroos. But it's worth every bit of it. It's so cool. So, I love it. It does. We bought other yes. Stanley dupes. Yep. Um, cups, but this one here. I love it. Is. I actually love got it, another one sitting on my cart for Curtis. Actually, that's the Did you? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. So. It doesn't have a, does it have a fish on it though? No. Nope. Okay. No. So this one here has got a uh, bass with the um, U.S. flag on it. It's nice, heavy duty. So cool. Um, it is so nice. 40 ounces. Yeah, it's we'll do a close up one. on it all the way around and stuff because I think maybe the light might be blowing it out. It might, it, yeah, it's probably not doing it justice. I will make sure that you can yes. see it. Yes, um, but yeah, it's definitely very good quality all the way around. The little wrap they use, you can even tell it's a wrap on it's it. It's so nice. Um, and they do have, I saw about four or five other different styles mm -hmm. um, that had like the flag with it, but not the fish. Someone's got, yeah, like an um, eagle on it. Um, some has got like the Punisher skull symbol with mm -hmm. it and some just the flag by itself just with a white background and everything that looks really nice um, but yeah my dad's in the fishing and stuff so I figured this one would be good he's retired military too so it's kind of covered both of his yeah favorite things, so. it is so cool I love it yeah very very worth it for sure yeah so, this actually came from a local warehouse did it? why I got it so fast. Oh, I like the lid better 
better than ours. Yep. Very nice and secure on you there. You don't have to like uh, make sure you screw it on perfectly. And it's, it's got the um, the straight sip uh, thing where you Either do way. straw, or you can do the straw and the thing. Oh, too. that's nice. I you like know, that Liddy. You can tell more. how it it actually does. It is super it. nice. Yeah. And this actually will go back to, to close off the straw part so if you're not using it. Section of stuff all the way around. That's nice. So yeah. You put you a big old iced coffee in that bad boy. Yes, you can. Today will be the day four. <laughs> Tim's so tired today. <laughs> he's like, I don't know why I'm so tired. I know why he's so tired. Because he's going 90 to nothing all the time. That's yeah. why he's so tired. All right, guys, that's the end of our rant yep. and our Timu haul and every other stinking thing that we talked about today. So we hope you all have a great week coming up. And as always, we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.